Welcome to Math Tutorials. In today's lesson, we're going to take a look at Chapter 11, Section 2 in our Triola's Elementary Statistics book. It's called Goodness of Fit. And the problem we're going to look at is the following. It says, conduct the hypothesis test and provide the test statistic, critical value, and p-value, and state the conclusion. A package of 100 candies are distributed with the following color percentages. 15% red, 22% orange, 12% yellow, 10% brown, 26% blue, and 15% green. Use the given sample data to test the claim that the color distribution is as claimed. Use a 0.01 significance level. So let's take a look at what we've got. Um, we've got a claim here. That's what we're looking at. The claim that these percentages are as they are listed. So here's HO and H1. And we've got different categories. So we've got the claim is that what we see in this package of 100 candies is the actual uh, breakdown of the uh, colors. Okay, so we've got the first claim is that 15% are red, 22% are orange, and 12% are yellow. So we can call those like P1 is 15%, P1 standing for red. Okay. So I'm just going to write that out. P1 is 15%. There's our first claim. And then just go through the rest of them. P2 is 22%. P3 is 12%. P4 is 10%. P5 is 26%. And P6 is 15 percent. Okay, so that's our our statement of the hypotheses, the, the null hypothesis. And then H1 is that at least one is different from the claim above. Okay, at least one of the proportions, one of the percentages is different. Okay, so these are what we'd call our expected uh, proportions. These are the expectation or the claim, and then we're going to look at a set of data to look at the actual results that we got. Okay, so let's go back here, take a look at the problem again, and we've th those were the claims, and then we're going to use a 0.01 significance level. I guess we'll write that down. Alpha is 0.01. We're going to do this by p-value using stat disk. <clears throat> so here's the actual set of data, the data table. If you click on the icon to view the table of data here. This is what we're really looking at. These are the actual counts, okay? So not the not the ones we're expecting that we just expressed as HO, but these are what we actually got. So we expected 15% to be red, and we found that 15 out of 100 is red. That's 15%. We expected 22% to be orange, but we actually found that 23 out of 100 were orange, and so on. So these are the actual, you just count here how many red, how many orange, how many yellow, and so on. That's the actual observed data that we got. Okay, so let's pop up stat disk. And stat disk, um, it looks pretty simple here. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And then in here, you're just going to enter two things. The first column, you're going to enter the um, the observed data, and then the second one you're going to put in the expected. So just go row by row. Here's here's our first one. So our actual observed reds, we observed 15 of them out of 100, so that's going to be the first number. Go to the next thing. Orange, we observed 23. Yellow, we observed 6. Brown, we observe 11. Blue, we observed, looks like 27. Green, 18. And there we are. Okay, so those are our actual observed counts. Okay, now what did we expect to get? That comes from the percentages. We're looking at a sample of 100, so you just multiply the percentage by 100, and it just moves the decimal point over 2. So out of 100 candies, we expect 15% to be red. Well, 0.15 times 100 is 15, so we expect 15. And in fact, that's what we actually observed in column 1. 
Now, 22 we're expected to be orange, 12 yellow, 10 brown, 26 blue, and 15 green. Okay, so that's what we've got there so far. <clears throat> okay, now the next thing to do is once you've entered your data here, then you're going to go up to, in your menu bar for stat disk, go to analysis. And you're going to pick under analysis, goodness of fit, and unequal expected frequencies, because our expected frequencies in the second column are not all the same. It's not like when you claim that uh, all the M&Ms are equal proportions in a bag. That would be all equal expected. But these are unequal. The claims are 15%, 22%, 12%, and so on. They're not equal. So again, go to analysis, goodness of fit, unequal expected frequencies, and this pops up. <clears throat> Our significance level was 1%, so change that to 0.01. The observed column is 1, the expected is 2, and then just hit evaluate. And then here we are. So we've got our the main things that we're going to plug in for our question. We've got the test statistic is about 3.7839. We've got the critical value, and we've got the p-value. That's the big thing. And then it even tells you the conclusion, because the p-value is 0.5809, and that's bigger than alpha, of 0.01, then we fail to reject the null hypothesis. Data do not provide enough evidence to conclude that the populations have proportions different from the expected proportions. <clears throat>